I'm going to show you some different ways of working with polylines in ArcGIS Pro. So first I'm going to select one of the polylines on the map and it's just showing a normal uh, selection here and I'm going to go to the edit menu and then click on vertices. So the vertices is really the main tool that you will be using when you want to do something where you're reshaping or adding additional uh, segments to an existing line on the map. And so you can see here that we've got uh, three different vertexes. We've got one here, here, and here. And that's also represented in the edit vertices uh, pane here. If you look at the bottom, these are the three vertexes that I just clicked on. And if you click on one of those and you right click and say flash, then you'll see that uh, flash on the screen. So let me just do that for the next one down and also for the final one. So just kind of showing you where those vertices are along that particular line on the map. So, so one thing about the vertices is once that you have them, you can start to move them around. So if I click on this one here and I start to drag, you know, click and drag, I can change, you know, where that is going to be at. So I could just make this go to here if I want, and I can go ahead and click on the uh, finish button if I want to save that, or in this case, I'm just going to go back to the way it was. I'm going to cancel that. So it's back to its original shape. So when I do that, though, I'm going to have to click on vertices again. So the way you can tell that you need to do that is that the vertex icons won't show up. So anytime you do something, let's do this again and cancel. Um, you can see those went away. So if I click vertices again, then you'll see those came back. So we've got the vertices back on the line. So, so I just showed uh, moving an existing vertex that's in the middle, but what happens if you do the ends? Well, that's how you can extend lines out. So if I can uh, drag this out uh, to make it bigger, I can also shrink it down and make the line size a little bit smaller. So I'm going to undo my change again at this point. But what if you want to actually um, add an additional vertex somewhere along the line? So uh, what you do is you select and go to vertices again. And along the line, if you right click in the spot where you want to create the vertex, you can use the add vertex option. So we'll just click on that and it puts that vertex exactly where you right clicked on it. And so then from there you can then, you know, change the location and reshape the line at that point. So uh, I'll take on do that um, and go back to vertices. You can also delete a vertex as well. So if we wanted to get rid of this uh, vertex up here, I can click on it and say delete. And then if I were to save that there or finish it, it will then clear that out. Now I've got a straight line. I'm going to undo that change and go ahead and select this again. And we're still under vertices here. So um, also you can do things inside of the grid. So I could delete this way. I can also enter, uh, insert or um, I can insert before or insert after a particular existing vertex if I want to, let's say, add another one. That's typically not something I would do. It's much better to be more explicit and go right to where you want to go and um, just say add vertex that way. It is fine for deleting them, though. I, I kind of go back and forth depending on what I'm doing. So another um, kind of a, a different type of thing to do is what if you need to add a vertex to the end of a line. So if you notice, I can't really easily do that. If I right click down here, I can delete the vertex, but I can't say, hey, add a new one out here somewhere. And same within this grid here, I can't say uh, to add it after the, the uh, final one in the list or before the one at the very top. And so, so the way I do this is I actually first will extend the line. So I'll make it a little bit bigger and then I'll just save that. And then I actually go back to where I was at um, and I then add a vertex to that same spot. So I'm um, going back into vertices, I've got the line selected and I'm gonna say add vertex. So this is where the original vertex was. Um, I added one there so that now I can go and grab the other segment here, this vertex, and I can now move it. So if I wanted to connect it to this particular pole here, then I can do that 
and then I can just uh, finish that and that will complete it. So that's another way of modifying the line. Um, there's also another option that I'm gonna just switch to a different uh, layer here. I'm gonna look at one that has some uh, phase arrows listed with it. So this is showing some of the arrows of uh, where the uh, electricity is flowing. And I wanna show how to change the direction of these. So again, you select the line and um, you can then right click on that. And then you can say, uh, you can say reverse all selected. And that uh, will work for a single one of these uh, lines. Or if you had multiple selected, then it will also uh, do multiples all at once. And so, so that's an open point specific option. Um, Esri does have a way of doing it just uh, natively. If you click on vertices and then you right click on it, you can uh, do the reverse direction at that point too. So depending on, on what you're trying to do, you can use either of those options to be able to do those line direction reversals.